a bit about this class. Like, what is it? What is what is it going to be like? Uh, oh, this class is. Uh, it's a short video every day uh, with a demo and a lesson and something that you can do yourself. And the idea is that uh, drawing is a habit. And so, you know, if you take it all at once and say, I've got to learn to draw, I've got to practice drawing, I've got to do all, it, it can become very big. But if you break it down every day, just a half an hour, just an hour a day, uh, by the end of a month, you've put a lot of time in and you've had a lot of enjoyment and um, you get better at what you do. So what do you think, like how do you imagine people using this? Like how are they going to experience it? Uh, I imagine it to be sort of uh, like a daily practice that people do, sort of like jogging. I don't jog, but I imagine <laughs> that people who jog, um, you know, it, in the beginning it's sort of uh, a thing that they force themselves to do in a way because they know that this is what they want. And so every day they just say, okay, I'm... Whatever else, I'm definitely going to jog today, and they carve out this little piece of time to do it. And then after the first week or so, they have to do it. You know, and when you talk to people who run a lot, they, they just, if they can't run, they, they feel it. Their, their mood is bad. They don't have the energy. And for me, that's drawing. And so what I'd like this course to do for people is introduce them to that habit that I practice and introduce them to it in a way that's as painless as possible, that's fun. Um, and it just builds up after time, you know. Right. So what are the things that you'll actually be doing? Like, what are the, th the kinds of things that you'll be going over? We'll be going over, uh, it's kind of like a boot camp approach to drawing. Uh, and I think it's good for beginners as well as people who, who already draw. Because we'll be going over the basics, but we'll be doing it in a way that's not, uh, that's not structurally basic, you know. It's sort of... Uh, we'll be talking about line, we'll be playing with different kinds of line. Marks and texture will be things that we'll be playing with. Color, a uh, little bit of drawing people, you know, not too much because it's, um, you know, this is a 30-day class and I sort of want to start from the beginning and build it up. Um, but those are the kinds of things we'll be doing. We'll be going out a couple of times, which, um, as you know, I love to do. I love to draw on location. So we'll, we'll also kind of be, you know, dipping our toes into that pool. Um, you know, and I'm going to bring some friends with me and, and make it fun. You know, I think any habit uh, is something that if you enjoy it and you have fun with it, it becomes a habit without you really having to think about it. I mean, that's one of the things I like about this course a lot is the field trips. The fact mm -hmm. that at the end of each week you're going out and you're doing yeah. some things. Like, where are the places that, the that you're going to go on these field trips? Well, we go to a few places around New York, which is my favorite city. Um, we go to Times Square for some excitement and color. We go to Washington Square Park for some just relaxation and lots of textures. Uh, we also go to the Brooklyn Bridge, uh, down to Brooklyn Bridge Park, to really play with line. I mean, the, the bridge is a suspension bridge. There's a lot of great line to, to get into. And then um, the last week, we go to a yoga studio, and we can draw people in motion, and it's a really beautiful uh, place to draw, and I, I was just saying to you earlier, I, you know, uh, when I think back on it, it's like, okay, when I die and go to heaven, I'm going to wake up in this yoga studio and be drawing. Uh, and it's, you know, there, there are different locations that each give us something different, and so my hope also is that you will also develop this habit of going on location. Uh, once a week is a good sort of baseline, and I like to go out once a week, because location just it brings things to you that you don't expect, and so you have to react, and it, it sort of shakes things up for you in your drawing. So who would ideally take this class? Uh, well, I, for me, the ideal student is someone who loves to draw but finds themselves saying, oh, I wish I had more time to draw. Because the truth is you have time to draw. You know, I mean, it's like saying, I wish I had more time to, to brush my teeth. You do, because you make that time. So that's a very broad category, but really within that are people who are beginners who maybe need a little bit of structure to kind of get this habit going. And then uh, people who uh, maybe have done art, have drawn, they know that they enjoy it, but the demands of life and work and family and, and everything get in the way. And so it's uh, a sort of a, a structure to say, I'm carving out this space for myself every day. To practice my drawing. I think that's a thing that um, people 
I mean, I find with myself that you don't know, you want to draw, but you don't know what to draw, right. or right. you feel like, oh, I'm going to draw this old thing again, <laughs> right. you know, and I feel like knowing that not only different subject matter, but also different ways to approach it, yes. so you can draw the same thing that you maybe drew several <clears throat> times before, but now you're drawing it with a different perspective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it keeps it interesting, you right. know. Yeah, I mean, and the other thing about that, not knowing what to draw, is once you start, you become interested. So it could be the most mundane thing, and just pick up a pen and, and start drawing it, and suddenly you, you get involved. And um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I think what you said about different approaches also makes sense, because it starts to become this sort of almost a warm-up you can do every day. Well, let, let me, I didn't think about line yesterday, let me think about line today, or you know, I really have, have neglected color for a while. Let me just get some crayons and just just play with it in a a very non-directed but directed kind of way. Right. Yeah. I like I like that boot camp <clears throat> analogy because it's sort of like again exercising different parts of your drawing abilities. Right. And right. you know, you need the whole balance really over time. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. also, I think you can make progress in one area, and that can give you satisfaction and feedback. And right. then now you add another skill; it just gets richer. Mm -hmm. just, I mean, mm -hmm. I think. I think what makes drawing interesting is that there's, as you said before, there's a, like you never stop learning to draw. Right. You know, I mean, you've right. been doing it your whole life, and yet Every there's day. always new things yeah. you learn from new people or new approaches or new subject matters. Right. 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 So. I mean, this is the thing I love about art in general, is that you're always a beginner every day. Right. I wake up and I'm a beginner because I've never drawn this thing or this place with this material at this time and. Where you're at in your life gets involved. Everything is involved, and so it it is. It's. I feel it's an active meditation. I mean, I'm not a good meditator. I'm. I just can't sit there. You know, I, my mind starts racing. But but drawing is really um, because you get so involved in the moment, and every single time it's a new experience. So yeah, you could. I could draw a coffee cup every day for a year. You know, and it's it's going to do something else every day not only because of different approaches but also because of where i'm at that day right you know i mean i'm really looking forward to the launch of this class because i feel like i Thanks. need a kick in the butt and i'm looking forward to doing <laughs> drawing a day well let me help you with that exactly. and also i think like unlike buying a book or you know the usual ways that i will go to around and inspire myself knowing that like you're going to teach me something every day mm -hmm. we're going to do something different each day other people are going to be doing it as well and i get to see what they're doing that whole thing i feel like there's going to be a lot of reinforcement to, right. to keep going and to right. do it to make it into a habit so yeah and ha learning is happiness to me you know and then to be able to share it with other people just amplifies that good so. excellent well i'm looking forward to it starting thanks me too <laughs>